sheesh I finally fixed this thing I gotta explain what happened I had my Suzuki I was running it uh, I don't know, four or five days ago family had them out or maybe it was a week ago a week ago I'm sorry I'll explain why and going along and all of a sudden it just kind of bogged down like girl you know real boggy throaty and I lost power to my lower cylinder it was flooded out I mean real bad it was a mess and anywho long story short brought it home changed the spark plugs fired it up it was running not good but it was running and I'm like all right maybe I can uh, give it a shot tomorrow see how it turns out went through gap the plugs all that but um so still doing it super rich and the lower it's a single carburetor Suzuki DT40 1992 I've still got parts I gotta put back on but um I went through tore apart the carburetor I went through changed the needles not changed them uh, polished up the float in the float needle and the seat in there um, sprayed gum out through the whole thing blew it out perfectly clean uh, pressure tested the float and pen that worked carburetor was showing me no issues of why it wouldn't work no reason I'm like this thing I don't know what it is had no idea anywho so after everything was open and clean in a carburetor I heard somewhere that the fuel pump can cause this now here's the deal man if you have a small outboard and you're flooding out if your motor is flooding out and you're running I even took the pin out the airflow so that it would be a hundred percent uh air coming in still rich amazing but here's what it was a lot of people i know for a fact do not realize this on the fuel pump i'm going to try to point it out to you because this is what will flood your motor every time and you will not get over it this bolt goes into the mount that's a mount this bolt is a mount now if you look in the back you'll see another tube right here going into the motor part of the frame what that does is your fuel pump I thought it was nuts man but there are no wires going to the fuel pump anywho as the crankcase as the motor runs it creates positive pressure and negative pressure this material here is a diaphragm that pushes back and forth to make the fuel pump work. Mine had a little leak in it, just a little one. I couldn't even see it. I had to blow air, and my wife seen on the other side. She's like, yep, yeah, it's got a rip in it. Um, the fuel will dump straight into your, tank crate, uh, your crankcase if you have a two two-cylinder Suzuki with one carb your lower cylinder is going to flood like you have no idea and carburetor is not the cause of it but anywho went through um, I still have to order it apart what I did was take that diaphragm where the rip was on the edge I moved it over an eighth of an inch so that the rip was sandwiched in between the metal of the fuel pump here to see if that would fix it and sure enough hundred percent now of course I'm gonna replace that but that just confirmed that that was the issue I had a mechanic out here and the guys 25 year mechanic couldn't figure it out so I hope this does somebody good but if it's flooding and it's not your needle valve with the float and your ball when you prime it your priming ball if that does not get hard you are absolutely in my opinion running fuel straight into your crankcase and that's why you're flooding out but 
All right, so don't say I didn't warn you. Fuel pump, check in behind that. Take it off and examine that if your boat's not running right. I, I know I will for now on. But, all right, I'm not a mechanic, but phew, I prayed about it, and man, freaking worked out. Big man looked out for me, and I figured it out. Can't believe it. I don't even work on motors, but anywho. Um, all right, good luck on yours. I really hope this helps somebody. Thank you. There's other videos to show how to, it, it's simple. Just take out, take out your main mounting bolts. You got three smaller screws take them out be careful with the diaphragms which are nothing more than this material right here kind of flappy uh, you'll see it right away you'll see a concaved area don't lose your spring that goes in the center of the area where the diaphragm uh, is seated and then the cap on top but all right I hope this helped you, man. I wish I'd have seen this video when I was doing this, and I could find nothing. So, if you know anybody with an outboard, let them know. Steve's Art of Sailing, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. Even better, subscribe. I do all kind of videos. This one's a little special, but I'm sure this old 92 Suzuki is going to give me other issues. So, I'll be on it the whole time. All right. Thank you. Subscribe, guys. Have a great one.